back to Atomic Heart. I'm gonna be honest, it, I took a long hiatus from this game because I was playing a lot of other stuff. I was doing like a lot of multiplayer games and just that just really drew my attention. However, I finally decided it's time. We gotta get back to the Atomic Heat because, I mean, I, I, I really missed out on it. And I heard they actually had an update since uh, the last time I was here, so. Now, if I remember correctly, um, I do, I do remember the story, um, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, so I believe Everything here seems we, cut and dry. we had to we get, get back before something uh, fucked up happens. Let's play that back. You're hot, huh? Hey, you ought to try going to the Urals and be a meal worker, eat for half shit. That'd make a man of you. I don't know why, this game seems a bit more quiet. But it could just be because nothing's happening in this area. We crack up. Don't give a goddamn about no heat. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. We'll hop right into an oven or a volcano at the drop of a hat. So don't come in for it to be Bob. Once the update collected, everything will be hunky dory. If someone starts bitching, they ain't worth shit. <laughs> Can I cut it out mid-spray? Yeah, I can. And then the Y is just the shock. Okay. Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean, the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind. Okay, so I got the one from the fire lab. There yep, because go. I got to go to all the different Look labs. Bloom. What a beauty! Photosynthesis oh wait, what? Has begun. Oh, I missed it! I missed it! No! Rapidly. That's that's really unfortunate that I missed that. All right, I got to go to the algae lab before that lab on the other side gets open. So. We're going to find some algae, some green stuff. The goods, wait a minute. I remember why I went to the other one. Oh dear. Look at those guys. Wait, wasn't there some sort of like, ping system? <laughs> no, that's not it. Wouldn't be up. It wouldn't be. Wouldn't be. Oh. oh, I just discovered some sort of quick select, but for weapons, awesome. It's left and right on the D-pad, but would it be? That's just ah. Uh, is it the double? Oh no, double on this side. Yes. Okay. All right. From the looks of it, there seems to be like. Oh, wow, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's about five to six in there in total, maybe even seven. So I think since these guys are organic, I can freeze them. I have freeze on, right? Okay. But I think this gel affects them even more that I shoot the polymer. And then I can, like, ice it, maybe? So, we'll see.
Whoa, oh my goodness. I did not think I would be chopping these guys up like this. What's up? What's up, dude? Freeze! Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get... Gotta chop up the bodies. Make sure nobody was there. He's infected. He's not gonna be coming back like that. Lovely. <gasps> He's still alive! Got him. I actually do need to heal up a little bit. I was like, like 50% health. It's fine though. Alright, there's one over there, and I don't think there's any others. Well, there's certainly others. Scratch that. I can't let any of them get out of here alive. Oh, wait, what is this? Systematic statistics. Say that five times fast. Oh. Come on, what's up? You wanna come out? That's what I thought. Cowards. Oh, where are they coming? Oh, they're coming. Free can Snap! Oh. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. Oh dear. Oh, this is this is just the room I was in. Oh. Hi, buddy. Shock. Does a little bit. So what happens if I just say? Fuck it. Oh, I was hoping to get your buddy in it too. I'll take his head anyway. Oh, right on the box. Awesome. Oh, let's take that husk. Whoa. Um, excuse me. Oh dear. Oh damn. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, 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 what just happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did that one blow up? What the heck? Oh. Excuse me, sir. I'm here for the interview. Oh man, Jesus, he didn't like me having a phone call either. Oh, I did not know I could charge up as I'm spraying somebody. <sighs> God. Phone call with a jump scare added right at the end. How about that for a jump scare? I do want to play hacker right now, but let's take a look at this. Oh my, am I going to be able to go in there? Do I gotta go get the canister? I do. I see a robot walking around in there. I should probably clear the other rooms before I go in there too. Ooh, what am I seeing? Hey! hey. <gasps> oh my can god. You, can you finish me off, please? What the? <laughs> just, just wait for a medic, okay? What? <laughs> medic? The entire facility has gone tits up. And who knows when the rescue team are gonna be here? And I'm hurting right now. I'll never walk again anyway. What the hell? Uh, what? What makes you think the whole place is gone tits up? If this happened in Babylon alone, people from other complexes would be here already. It's happening everywhere, isn't it obvious? Maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec, okay? There were three of us. They tried to lift it, but it failed. 
A robot could have lifted this, but we can't ask them now. Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick. It hurts. A lot. <coughs> what the fuck? So, I think I can, like, talk to dead people with the, the thing, but I don't think he has the glow of a dead person. Well, we're just gonna leave him here for... What is that? What, 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 what did I just say? Fucking crazy ass moving bodies. A little too close, so if I get all of them in there, then it should work. There we go. Whoa, what is this? Whoa, cutscene. What is that? Don't tell me this is a boss fight. What is that? Oh my god. I only have a shotgun and an electric vessel. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. What? What the? Oh my god! <sighs> harmless my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. <laughs> should, I just, should I jump in that polymer and start swimming it? That'll probably be the best thing that I do. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'll jump in there and stealth kill that one. Uh, uh, oh, 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 well. all right. Where do you think the canister might be? A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. <sighs> Let's go find it. For a second, I thought that. I th for a second, I thought that robot saw me from all the way back there. Zippity doo da. Oh, what the? Yeah, get in the. Uh... What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> that was fun. But how do I get out? Ah, yes. Oh, I was about to hear voices from my past. Oh yeah, energy for energy shots, that's right, duh. Oh, I gotta swim all the way up there, don't I? Nah, man, this is the one I gotta go to. What are you talking about? I don't know where your marker's at. Oh, what's the weather report? Jesus. Hey, look at this! What the heck? Save spot. Some loot. Can't even activate that. Access granted. Very, very nice. Uh oh, that was bad. Well, at least I can use that one to make I, myself have five again, so. Still not at max health, though. Oh, finally, someone new to talk to, and a live one, too. New? Did someone else come here before me? Sure. See that dead body? That's Alexei, the technician. Having quite a conversation since they killed us. The thing is, about 20 minutes ago, the light sort of went out of him. He did manage to say something right at the end, but it was complete gibberish. What do you mean, went out? Oh, I don't know. It kind of expired, so to speak. I think this 
must be how the vaccinations fall. Dead people be so chatty. Residual brain activity or something. What else could it be? Was anyone else here? Look around. There's plenty of victims. Not all of them were in a talkative mood. But take Ivan, for example. He was an assistant professor. He taught for days on end. Poor comrade Ulumbekov. He went silent this morning. Too bad. He was young. All expired now. I'm still holding on, you see. Don't you wonder why? Oh, yeah. Sure I do. But it's fascinating. Tell people about it if you make it out alive, okay? At least that way, the science will get something useful out of all this carnage. Oh, yeah. Anything for science, right? Well, not anything. If you're suggesting that I'm getting a little carried away. But if you get a chance... Okay. So long. Sayonara. These canisters are used with polymer dispensers, comrade major. One could prove useful. Yeah, that's why I grabbed one. It looked awfully... specific. <laughs> so now I gotta fill it up over there. Uh, he's resistant to my shot. Man, I wonder what I'll do. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, wow, you're pretty bulky, boy. Oh dear. Oh, for a second I thought I heard another one get up. Easy. It's like they just keep running into it, you know? germination department they sent us another robot they said it was on the fritz so we opened it up and it's full of mushrooms on the inside the whole thing is packed with mycelia what is it about the robots polymer environment that the mushrooms like so much at this rate we'll have mushroom techs instead of lab techs you guys are smart right come up with something Give me my algae polymer. Wait, what? Polymer. Canister will be built in 35 days. 35? Great. I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed... So if the speed were being increased, we would get the polymer. Great job, hand. I just wanted to finish up that dialogue. So if the speed is increased, yeah, there we go. Did you know there was oh, well. a cable car here? I assume there must be a way to. Yes, I did know there was a cable car here. Wait a minute. Wait, what? In 
increase the speed by overclocking them. Uh, no way they're gonna be jumping up here, and I slowly have to go by and like shock every single one. You gotta be careful. It's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? Yeah, I could You're get hurt. Optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. Fuck. Oh my! It worked. Whoa! Look at that pool glow. It's actually kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. Ah, uh, damn! Repair? That means sending robots. Oh my god! Question, Chuck. Oh, he's doing like laser sprays. Dash jumping. Press B to dash and jump. Was I supposed to go down here? Exactly, do the beams have to shoot to anyway? Oh, I guess I had the red laser on the bottom. Well, how do I know which one makes a red laser? Oh, probably because I can swap it. It's almost like I have to rely purely like on sound for the ones that get close to me. Because uh, there, there's just like no sort of like indicator at all really. So close, I'm so close. And I didn't hit it. Oh, a lot of them just spawned. Well, at least I don't have to worry about ammo. Fuck. 
fall out of the sky. Yes. Oh man. Come on, come on, just give me give me the last one and I'll jump off. No I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that just happened. Oh my god, I actually missed it. Ten seconds, good. Do I wanna drop down in there? I should. Pleasant lights all around, Chela's buzzing in the distance. Oh, he can't shoot through the polymer. How interesting. Oh, 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 you're damaging me through the polymer now. Oh, oh, your, your shots can't go through it, but you're damaging me. Interesting. Canister filled. Please pop. the canister. You can collect the canister now. Fuck. Oh, I gotta use my shells for dumb shit like that. You know? What's the score? Whose score was that? Ours? Give me my canister. I gotta go here. Okay. Huh. Bye, guys. Take that. about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles. Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague, Chariton Radionovich Zaharov, was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. Alright, we're not going to look away this time. Like we did the last one. Lunar polymer canister connected. The tree, it's glowing. Beautiful. The preliminary power generation phase has begun. Attention, distribution center employees. Access to the right wing of the complex is now available. <laughs> What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock, but there's something wrong with this sprout. What the? Whoa! What? I was—I was gonna say I'm specifically staying here so I can. Don't... I was gonna say, what's up with that cow? So I was gonna say it was just moving back and forth. Something's wrong with the sprout. Oh. 
Let's go figure out what's wrong with the sprout. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. He's like, without the blood or the the chicken actually going into his eyes, it's kind of like less intimidating. Well, at least, they're, at least they're behind glass. Your attention is not advised. Too late. Oh, look, their face is like kind of still there. Whoa, buddy, let's, let's calm it down. Let's calm it down. Calm it down. Easy. Sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds. Very quickly. The robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks, like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasiev. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them, but he just had time to say, Oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember is being dead. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to, but I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first, so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at the workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. It was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. Um, but when I come back, we're definitely going to be doing those other two, and then we're going to be powering up the tree to get through that last area. And, uh, I'll be back soon. <laughs>